<laughs> God damn it. I'm coming home with the gold medals and rings to match. They trying to sign me on contracts with the strings attached. You need to switch your defenders because we ain't even match. I can't be counting no chickens up that ain't even hatched. So I put my thoughts into actions and I hustle it back. Good morning, folk. It is Tuesday. Sat in Chicago all weekend. Couldn't find a load coming out Monday, so here we are. With the truck. About to get loaded and hit the road. We are going from uh, Chicago to basically Kansas City, Missouri. And then we have another load booked from Kansas City, Missouri to Dallas, Texas. Little Chicago chop, had to give me a Chicago barber uh, to go along with my Houston one, cause I, I can't take it. Y'all be on the road, no chop for about uh, 30 days. I can't do it. That's just something I do for myself. But anyways, I ain't about to ramble. We're about to go ahead and get this load. Uh, cut this off so y'all can hear me straight. We're about to go and get this load. Um, it's actually going to, I think it's Grand View, Missouri. Grand View, Missouri, gonna drop that off. And then we're going to take that load to Dallas and I'm probably going to stay at my aunt's house. That's another thing. It's a good thing having people uh, all over the country so you can stay there instead of sleeping in your truck sometimes. Uh, and saves money on not using hotels everywhere you go when you don't feel like being cramped in the truck. What up, G? I'm John. You guys put that machine? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was hoping to get uh, from you guys. <laughs> Y'all don't have any, any BOL paperwork? Okay, okay, please. Got no BOL for the load. Yeah, we booked this load. We don't have no BOL. She didn't give me one at the office, so maybe I got to go back up there and have her print what was emailed to me. Uh, and so the paperwork is actually at the office. The clerk forgot to give it to me. So I'm going to go up there and grab the paperwork. He said I don't have to come back, so they're going to close me up. They got me loaded in like five seconds. So uh, yeah, I guess we on the way. I'm going to stop at the Love's. I gotta print up the BOL for my next load and then uh, I'll holler at y'all there on my break. So, uh, yeah. All right, y'all. Got the paperwork. Let's go ahead and raise this back up, check out the load. All of that for that little bitty ass machine, y'all. <laughs> Goddamn. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back there and strap it once. I think I'm gonna strap it once. There's nothing on there, but I don't like those issues. So we're gonna go ahead and strap it down one good time. Oh, damn. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say this, y'all. You better say for sorry. janky ass strap job but i'd rather my shit be on there too uh it's a heavy ass engine but i don't want nothing popping up burning around rolling nothing so we good we're gonna lock this up then we hitting the road mind you they left a sheet of paper on there that tells me how much that broker is getting paid for this job they getting five thousand dollars they paying us about a little over 20 percent for that y'all keep that in mind uh having direct shippers um it doesn't always benefit you because you can't be in the place that they want you to be when the load is available. But if you can have a few in your hometown, then at least you can get to where you can be where you are and jet out every time, maybe every Monday or every Tuesday, or just has a load for you to get out of there and you can start your week off with a good load. I'd advise you to do that, man. If I would've been able to skip the middle, man, that whole $5,000 could've been straight to us just to move the product, okay? Or just a little less so they don't have to go to a broker, okay? Uh, that's just something. And they left the paperwork on there, yeah, man, something to think about. All right, since we talk about the ups and downs, we broke the down, man. Look. I could feel something was wrong with this old ass truck just a little bit, but if 
finally went out on me, man, in Kansas City. So we got a load on the back. Uh, yeah, man, this truck and shit gonna come with all of that. Missing out on a little money. Not yet. Maybe they can get it done fast. We are gonna trust in God that a miracle can happen, bro. Let's check on this load. Load is intact. We good. Uh, yeah. They asked me if I was loaded when I called on the phone to let them know what was happening. So uh, maybe they'll bring something that can uh, help me get the load off. The drop off is literally two miles around the corner, y'all. Two miles, bro. So, I mean, it's f but it comes with the game. So I guess uh, hopefully I don't miss out on this money. If the broker can give me a little extra time, I'll drop off this one late. And then uh, I think I got all day to drop it off, if I'm not mistaken. This one will get dropped off late. And then uh, I'll call the next broker and maybe cancel the load or see if I can pick up something else. Give me a hotel for the night. I don't, I don't know. But as of right now, we got to get this fixed. I am stuck like Chuck, bro. So uh, at least I'm safe. Uh, and see, this is why I didn't want to go through those mountains. I don't know if y'all saw on the last vlogs, but I was talking about the mountains. That's why I don't do that in no rental truck. If I was in my hot shot in my brand new truck, it's different. I ride up and down that all day, go over where the money is. And that's coming in a couple weeks. But as of right now, we in this truck. I don't know nothing about this truck, man. And I could feel it. God had me in my mind not feeling easy about that. And look where we are. And it was just, it was going up a hill. That it was going up a hill in a neighborhood, a small hill losing power so i had to cut it off step on my brakes imagine if i was on the f mountains lost power and rolling f backwards so uh we stand on flat land in these rentals man until we get uh, my truck truck but as of right now we're gonna figure this out y'all right here with me man so y'all can see everything that comes with it the ups and the downs i already called budget so we're gonna see what happens when they call me back all right Look at him. Name is Joe as well. Look at God. Funny, right? But hopefully he gets us fixed up and uh, we'll be back on the road. So uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to let him do his job and then I'll probably hit my push-ups and squats and then we are f***ing out of here. So if everything goes correctly, he'll fix us right up. I'll drop off the load and we'll be back on the way to Texas. If it doesn't go correctly, I think Budget is going to give me a hotel and I'll be stuck in kansas city for a couple days but whatever happens you know it comes with the territory so uh yeah t found us a load tomorrow going from kansas city this weak ass city excuse you if you're from kansas city that's your fault going back to the h actually going to dallas so we'll be out of here tomorrow we missed out on a thousand dollars today it actually cost us about $300 in fuel just to get out here uh, and not having a load today. So that puts us back about $1,300, but we're gonna make another thousand tomorrow. And hopefully we'll make another uh, thousand to get back to the H or, you know, Dallas to San Antonio, Dallas to Austin, then to the H so we can get our money back. Uh, all of this so I can be home for my sister's birthday. I love her, so we're gonna eat that loss. Uh, but we are here because as much as I don't want to do it, I have to knock out these push-ups and these squats as promised, okay? So, let me go ahead, knock out the squats. Biggie squats, 50 push-ups, every block. Damn. All right, let me knock out these push <sighs> All right, y'all. I damn. Want to grab me something to eat and chill? Watch a movie or something. Like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you put down there. Just put something, bro. All right? Oh, no. Oh, 
so you're picking up. Are those the ones with the green stickers on them? Oh shit. Well, I only have, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six pallets that are like wrapped up right here. I want y'all to see uh, that we are loaded up and ready to go. I close this up and drop this lock on here. But uh, it's a bunch of empty air tanks going to Grand Prairie, which is basically Dallas, okay? All right, we locked down. It's actually ended up being a good connection opportunity. Uh, the owner of the company or one of the owners uh first he offered me a job i'm like ah man i'm not from kansas city i work for myself he was like oh you know where do you go what do you do i'm like yeah we pick up freight from all over blah 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 so it turned out being an opportunity to where uh um we've almost created a direct shipper actually we have he said he has some other things going to texas they're actually a trucking company which uh if you look out there they do have trucks. He was like, it may not look like it, but you know, we have our own trucks. We move stuff. Anyway, he was like, yeah, we rarely get stuff to Texas, but it would be cool to have somebody that goes to Texas. We can cut out the middleman and you know, you get paid, I get paid. Everything's good. I was like, hell yeah. So uh, we may have created our first opportunity for a direct shipper guys. So uh, I saw a video one day from somebody that was saying that, you know, your presentation is key. And the reason it worked out is because I got out of the vehicle and I helped his workers uh, load the uh, vehicle and they, of course they asked me to but I didn't I didn't put up no fight like oh, I don't I'm not supposed to be touching freight blah blah none of that I just got out put my gloves on put my knee brace on put my boots gotta put my knee brace on y'all because I'm fucking breaking down but anyways not really but really anyway uh and we got to work man with the pallet jacks put all that shit on there 10,000 pounds of uh of those air tanks that y'all just saw so anyways, present yourself accordingly, man, when you out here. You never know what type of money that'll turn into. And mind you, I showed y'all yet on yesterday, on the last load, out of five racks, we only got paid a thousand. It's maybe because we a new company or whatnot, but these brokers keep a lot of the money. So imagine what, what the pay will probably be like if we cut that man out and I have a direct lane. You know, albeit it may not be super often, but whenever I have my driver, if he can go to Kansas City and back to Texas, you know, five, 600 miles and make two three racks you know it's a beautiful thing so uh yeah we about to head on to texas uh the truck is doing just fine as well i didn't cut it off i've been leaving it on just to make sure so i can get on the road so if it break down on me it's going to break down while i'm rolling let's get on this road we're creating opportunities we're creating pass some money money is attracted to me and i'm attracted to it and my wife but it's attracted to us always present yourself well when you out here on the road, you never know what opportunities can be created. So I grabbed his card. He actually took my contact in his uh, cell phone. So I think he's pretty serious. So we may be getting back out here within the next week or two to grab what he has and bring it back to Texas. And that's perfect. So I don't got to go all over the fucking country. It's in the Midwest from Chicago to Texas is where I'm trying to stay. Uh, and I think we can pretty much do it. It's easy. Uh, also, even when I get into the, uh, the hot shot, but mainly I want my work to be from Chicago to Texas between my two homes. Uh, and I think we could pull that off. So it's been a good morning. Uh, it's a reason for everything, man. I would never saw this shipper, never would have came to this uh, this business had I not broken down. So uh, God has a reason for everything. So just stay faithful. I know I'm rambling, but it's a message in all this. And uh, just don't fret. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. But uh, yeah, y'all like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, money bags or something. I don't give a damn what it is, but we got to get this channel up, okay? So uh, drop a comment for me. And uh, we out. All right, y'all, we are empty. Got the bill of lady sign. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment. Talk to me, I'll talk back. Follow the Instagram, all that good stuff, all right? Grand Prairie is done. Now we're about to take a load from a little bit south of Grand Prairie, South Dallas to Austin, and then I'm home for the weekend. Uh, this journey means a lot to me. Uh, I'm having a good time doing it. Can't wait till I'm in my own truck, but trusty box truck 
box truck is getting it done right now. So uh, I'm appreciative for everything I have, everything that I will have. Appreciative for y'all, appreciative for my wife, appreciate it. Appreciative for my goddamn life, all right? And we out. truck leaning but we only going three hours so it's already on him now fuck it i'm gonna let y'all know how this shit go heavy as hell all right Three hours later. Ho ass devil trying to hold me back, but I ain't selling a hole, baby! Bitch ass little! Shit! Ooh, I smell that fresh ass H town. Yeah, baby! God damn it! Down to the bone, got me working every muscle in hand. Must have been played by higher powers, ordained by law. Did I hit came and I conquered when I came and I saw. Gotta get paper, of course, but stack up the accolades. Going against demons that want us back in our shackle days. I made a lane for myself so they can never compare me. God wise, my ambition so heavy to carry. So heavy and scary, but I'm pushing this weight. Get up on the ground with my little brother, he cooked up his eight. Trying to remain in a mind frame, I need for success. Trying to refrain from relapsing, feeling deeply depressed.